An American empire was on the rise. We were set up to be the greatest power in this entire world. But that destiny was denied to us by- I mean, oh, so sorry there guys, uh, I, I swear. Today we play as the good guys, obviously. We have no sinister motives, we have no feelings of sorrow about what happened, we just want to move to a better future, you know? We've been going through not uh, the Red Scare, but the Gray Scare, which McCarthy and Nixon propagated, and the Republicans and Democrats have united together to form one party now, which is interesting. All these purple parts, I think, are split, and then only Alabama is controlled completely by the NPP. But yeah, we are the definition, I guess still, of a rising of power, even in a world where we uh, completely failed the Second World War. We still have an economy on the rise, and we will hopefully be able to influence world politics for the greater good, of course. Definitely we won't be doing anything nefarious in the meantime. Notably our one accomplishment in this world is being the leader of the OFN, so I guess if we can't rule half of the world, we can at least rule like an eighth of it or something. It's... Eh. Kind of. I mean, they're obviously an organization of free nations, so we're free nations working together, no one above another, right? Yeah, we have the Unity Pact, the Triumvirate, and the Prosperity Sphere, all great enemies, and many different factions in Russia, some we like more than others. I guess we really like these guys. Yeah, probably because they're a democracy and they're k good capitalist friends, uh. And we can also use the CIA to, by completely democratic and just means, ruin the reputation of other political parties. I guess we have to spend money to set up operations in some regions, but we are by no means weak in the money department here in America. Hello, Mr. President, this is the um, CIA, uh... Zah, these guys. Uh, don't interrupt me when I'm talking about how rich and great America is. And the Hawaiian Missile Crisis, similar to the Cuban one in the other timeline, where we... One. Just ended, we at least it was resolved peacefully. It could have been really bad if the Japanese decided to do something. Oh wait, is that... Uh, no, German was the first to land on the moon. Um, fear not, though, because we are um, going to put increasingly large amounts of funds into NASA and get them to establish a permanent lunar colony. I, I, I don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon. I doubt that happens within the scope of this game. Maybe, maybe. But one place in this world is a prime candidate for being the next member of the Organization of Free Nations, and that's the Union of South Africa. We've drawn up a plan to slowly draw the US and South Africa together in order to protect their democracy and to weaken the grip of German fascism in Africa as a whole. I think that's our next area. Africa will be a bastion of freedom soon. And cracking fortress Europe, President Nixon stared at the world map projected onto a screen in the White House briefing room. At the center was America, circled facing the Japanese and their colonial minions to the west and the Germans and their slave empires to the east. But where the Japanese Japanese and the Americans had only recently escaped Armageddon's embrace in Hawaii. The Nazi Empire was fraying at its seams. Seems like, um, Hitler woke up uh, about, uh, three minutes later than usual and, uh, ate his, um, breakfast about 15 minutes earlier than usually did. I think, um, this might mean something, possibly, uh... Well, interesting, for, for sure, yeah. And even though Nixon is the president, Kennedy has all the power in America right now. The people currently stand behind him, or at least the people remaining in the Republican Democrat Party, because things are starting to, um, <laughs> push in a slightly different direction here. And both the Civil Rights Act passed, and it appears that Germany's colonies in Africa may not be completely loyal to Berlin, which is fortunate. So we, uh, decided to investigate further the entire waking up and, uh, Why breakfast ordeal. That? We went to Rome to meet with an oracle who used the power of ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics to figure out that this is a sign that you will soon leave this world and uh, the secession to the next regime will not be a steady one, our sources say, according to the, well, our source is the orc. <laughs> These guys, am I right? And as bad media keeps coming out about the president and things are not so stable in the OFN, we find ourselves in a nice little war. I don't know how much I want to do here, though. I don't even know if I want to do anything. We gotta give the people something to fight for. We got to make the people understand that they're still enemies to the United States. So the or army will receive no orders from me. <laughs> no orders at all. And the elections are over, and things have changed quite a bit. Far-right NPP has gained a lot of traction, and peace has finally been made. 
I guess people will just see this as another example of President Nixon's incapable administration, but yes, there that goes. And so, yeah, some, um, tapes, I know, tapes and Nixon, who would have ever guessed, have been released. We've probably done a lot of stuff, like, I assume the CIA thing with making them make other political parties look bad, that's probably illegal, and yeah, lots of other stuff too, it's not good, it's, it's not looking good for, um, Nixon here today, uh, oh, oh um, no, no, not again. Um, so it looks like there is some news from, uh, Japan where they are experimenting with, uh, genetically modified cat girls, I, um, think- Okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine. I was just worried that more confidential tapes would be released, you know, yeah. And it sounds like really weird stuff is going on in Japan, I don't know, I, I, I don't know what they were saying, but we're just going to focus on destabilizing their colonies and such. Possibly, unless our country has some sort of crisis. I don't, I don't, I don't really know what that is, but I, I doubt it's gonna happen in America, we're, we're, we're too good for that. Well, 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 it looks like the CIA was right. Who would have known from the fact that he was in a coma that he was gonna soon, you know, demonetize. That's good, some good work on the part of the CIA there. Now let's watch the fireworks. And now we're going to look to the reformer. Speer here could be, if he is successful, could be a great ally to America and our interests in the world. We can rename Germany into West Germany. I, I'm sure they would love that. And we're going to begin using the CIA to begin funding stuff in Iberia, because this is a good idea. It's a really good idea. They will, um, <laughs> they'll love us. And then they'll join us, obviously, yeah. So we'll fund the Gibraltar Dam. We have plenty of money to throw around. And South Africa. Africa here is having some troubles. They had a civil war and then their enemy was joined by Germany's colonies. Right now we're helping them out as we can, but yeah, we need, hopefully we can send volunteers or something. And uh, of course in our struggle, we're going to send emergency support. We're going to exaggerate more atrocities. Yeah, we have to get everyone on our side in America. So it um, appears that Spears Germany is not doing so well. Uh, we could uh, send more support, but we're too busy doing this uh, South African thing. I know Germany is a major country, and if they become democratic, it could affect a lot of other places in the world, but I don't know, I really uh, like this South, South African thing. Yeah. Uh, and Francisco, a lifelong friend of America, helping out in South Africa, saving democracy. Ah, oh, what a, a good leader who's definitely democratically elected, for sure, yeah. And we've sent our finest tank with our finest general down to South Africa to help out on the front line, because there's a lot of encircling to be done. And the AI, I mean, the South African government is not as experienced in war as we are. We know every trick of war. And see, we're already going to encircle all these guys and all they can do is cry. And look at that. Easy time to deal with the Boer Republic. Oh, and Iberia is giving us this island of theirs. Of course we have to pay for it, but money is nothing to us, so that's nice. I like controlling more islands, it's great. Franco is gonna be a great friend of America soon. You know what, Franco, I'm doing this just for you. This is your, um, this is your pat on the back right there. And it looks like Kennedy has become president. Let's all say it together, nothing bad ever happened. And now McCormick has become Become president, and we have another new president, George Wallace. Uh, you know, honorable Southern gentleman. I think we all know what that means. Um, yeah. Uh, the NPP here is pretty much an anti-establishment party. They're like anti-centrist, but once they take power, they don't have loyalties to all extreme ideologies. They only have loyalties to the ones they agree with. So yeah, it's an interesting party, but <laughs> yeah. Hmm. The Africa Shield offers a ceasefire. Now we will fight on, we'll continue to fight on forever. And uh, look at that, the Boer Republic has capitulated. And we have encircled nearly all their divisions. They really don't have armies left, which is nice. Germany did unify though, under Bormann, so that's not fun. We've got to the point where the Germans are offering us ceasefires in South Africa every day, but unfortunately for them, freedom has already won here, pretty much. We just have to drive into their remaining victory points and then it'll all be ours. I mean, it'll all be free. Hurrah, and a triumph in South Africa. This is perfect. It couldn't have got to better. It was a complete victory here. Oh, complete control. Oh, this is beautiful, huh? And they're all in the offense. Italy is turning towards democracy too. They might join us also and our faction uh, will be so strong. Unfortunately, England. 
isn't going that way. Scotland, maybe though, they're a social democracy. Who knows, maybe Scotland will join us. Oh, I accidentally clicked the event option that made me start playing as these guys. They have a focus tree though. Oh, I get why Iberia was helping so much. Well, at least while Salazar was helping so much, they want their colonies back. No, that's unacceptable. I'm going to send the CIA to Spain right now to help Franco because of this. That's, uh. oh, and there's a civil war in Indonesia. Free Indonesia? That sounds like a Indonesia I can support. Can we send volunteers? We can. Oh no, and it looks like there's actually a battle to get Italy. They're not just going to join our side they are deciding between us or Japan no no please no don't join Japan no okay yeah let's do what we'll do whatever it takes to get them on our side and Japan failed the little game here we got Italy into our triangle and now they are part of the good old OFN maybe Japan will join one day too who knows maybe their faction will fall apart I don't know this is really good though uh, the second major has joined our faction this is this is nice of course we're still the leader of the faction of of course, so yeah, 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 we're still the best. And Indonesia is now free, free, free Indonesia won through the help of some of our forces, just a little bit, yeah, and some planes. Anyways, I think that's it for now. This has been interesting. The United States in this mod's a lot like Burgundy, surprisingly, but they actually can influence the world where Burgundy can really just try to do crazy stuff and not really succeed and then destroy the world. But yeah, yeah, we're not doing that. We're being the good guys, kind of. But yeah, I guess I'll see you all next time.